So with this basically we finishes the discussion on various types of kernel. Now we will discuss uh, something about compiler, interpreter, parser and assembler. A compiler is a computer program that translates computer code from one programming language to another. The process of using a compiler to convert code is called compilation. Compilers take source code written in a high level language like Java or C or C++ and translate it into machine code or byte code or another programming language. The process creates an executable program that can run on computer. Uh, we can understand the things over here. Uh, here is the hardware or machine. Ultimately, this hardware will execute the uh, program. As a user, we are very much comfortable in writing the program in high level language, maybe C, maybe Java and like that. Because it, for human being, it is easier to write the codes in English like language and which is known as high level language like C or Java. But it is difficult for the hardware to directly understand the uh, programs which are written in high level language. So what we do basically, here we do have in between, we do have a compiler. This compiler basically compiles the, high, the programs written in high level language and generates executable codes. Executable codes sometimes known as byte codes or uh, machine codes and these codes can be executed by the hardware which can be understood by the hardware. So compilers are in between the high level language and the hardware which converts the program written in high level language into uh, assembly level or executable codes generate the executable codes which could be understood by the uh, hardware and these executable codes are executed by the hardware. H here you can see in the uh, attached figure you see here first of all the source code which is written in C or Java or any high level uh, language. They first are passed on to the compiler and in the compiler we do have a preprocessor. So first it goes to preprocessor, from preprocessor it goes to the compiler and the whole process being known as compilation. The compiler generates assembly level code or executable code basically. And with the help of assembler or assembly level, uh, uh, assembly level, uh, these assembly level codes are passed on to the assembler, which goes to, uh, which is known as uh, assembler generates object file basically, which is the executable file. And these object files uh, are passed on the linker which links it the required library files and generates the finally generates the executable files. These executable codes of the file are directly run by the uh, hardware. So uh, in short we can say that a compiler is a computer program basically which translates the high level uh, language program into an executable file. Compilers are used because computer can only understand programs written in the machine code, which is a binary system. There are many different types of compiler. Compiler, uh, maybe cross compiler, maybe bootstrap compilers, maybe source to source compiler, and another compiler is known as a compiler compiler. Uh, compiled code is generally faster and more efficient than interpreted code. Uh, so we have two types of basically one is interpreter that we will discuss in the latter part interpreter and another is compiler. Interpreter interprets the high level language line by line and wherever there is an error interpreter will stop. Compiler compiles the whole code, takes the whole code and compiles the whole program into executable file and the executable files are executed. In that sense compilers or generated code are generally faster and more efficient than interpreted code. So uh, we were uh, discussing various types of compiler. One is known as cross compiler. So it creates executable code for a platform that is different from the one it is running on. A cross compiler can run up 
on a PC and generate code for Android devices basically. This happens many a times uh, we need a code which we wish to execute on a mobile phone but the mobile phone does not have the, capa uh, the capability or the uh, you say the capacity to run the compiler in itself. So what we do basically we run the compiler on a separate machine maybe your PC or desktop where we generate the executable file and that executable file are passed on to the target machine maybe the mobile phone or any other things where that executable can, executable file can easily run so a cross compiler can run on a pc and generate code for android devices this is an example of cross compiler we can program on one development system and then transfer the code to the target machine no need for a high end system for the development the compiler can analyze and optimize the code itself. It is useful when developing for platforms with different operating systems or architecture such as embedded system or traditional game consoles. Another type of compiler is known as bootstrap compiler. A bootstrap compiler is a self-compiling compiler that is written in the same programming language that it's compiled. So say for example, uh, we are uh, running a C program. So compiler itself is written in uh, C language or using C language. A bootstrapping is a computer science technique that has been used since 1960 to develop programming languages like algorithmic language known as Algol and list processing commonly known as Lisp. A bootstrap compiler is self-sufficient and can compile itself and its future version. So bootstrapping helps with language evolution. Bootstrapping helps compiler develop and bug reporters focus on the language being compiled. Many popular programming languages use bootstrap compilers including C, C Sharp, Java, Rust, Ruby and Python. So the compiler of these languages are written in that in this language itself basically. So that helps in many ways as I have discussed with you that they develop, uh, the developers and bug reporters focus on the language being <coughs> compiled. Next is source to source compiler. A source to source compiler also known as transcompiler or transpiler is a type of compiler that translates source code from one programming language to other. It can also be optimized to optimize and transform code. It takes source code written in programming language as input and produces an equivalent source code in the same or different programming language. A compiler must ensure that the logic of the output code matches the input code and that nothing is lost during the conversion. For example, a developer might use a transpiler to convert COBOL to Java or vice versa. Other types of compiler include bytecode compilers, just-in compilers and hardware <coughs> compilers. And the last one in this category is known as compiler compiler. A compiler compiler also known as compiler generator. It is a programming tool that creates a compiler, interpreter or parser from a formal description of programming language and machine. The most common type of compiler compiler is a parser generator which only handles syntactic analysis. A compiler is a computer program that translates high level programming language into machine language which a computer CPU can understand. Compilers are an important part of software development because they help catch errors before the code is run which can save time and prevent crashes. Uh, okay uh, students after knowing uh, about compiler we will discuss something about interpreter. As I have already told you the compiler compiles the whole chunk of program at once. It takes the whole chunk of the program written in the high level language and generates an equivalent uh, its equivalent executable file known as object file which can directly be executed by the machine. But here in case of interpreter it takes the high level language line by line it interprets the language line by line and if say for example 10 line programs are there it will take the first line and convert it into the executable file second line third line for that something is wrong say for example something has gone wrong in line number six then in line number six it will stop telling you that something has gone wrong in the line, please correct it. Then you will have to take care of that. You will have to go through that. If something has gone wrong in line number six, you will have to make the required corrections. And again, you will have to start interpreting the language. 
So it will start line number one, two, three, four, and if all the 10 lines are okay, so then the program will be executed. But in case of compiler, what happens? It takes the whole program written in the high level language and compiles the whole language, a uh, whole program into the corresponding, into the equivalent object code, which is executed. In that sense, uh, you can say that the uh, compilers are faster than interpreter. But we are uh, talking about here interpreter. So interpreter is a computer program that executes instructions written in programming or a scripting language without first compiling them into machine language. Interpreters are commonly used for high level languages like Python, Ruby and JavaScript. Interprets translate source code into an intermediate representation or object code or they execute pre-compiled byte codes. Interpreters process code in real time while compilers convert the entire code into machine language before execution. Interpreter allows for immediate execution and debugging. Interpreters can be slower than compiled language. Interpreters stop on the line with the error. Another uh, tool is known as parser. A parser is a software component that takes into input data, typically a text, and builds a data structure. Often parser creates some kind of parse tree abstract syntax tree or other hierarchical structure provides a structural representation of the input while checking the correctness of the syntax. So I mean to say parsers are mainly used to check the syntactical error in the program. An assembler is a computer program that translates assembly language into machine code. Compiler converts the high level, a program written in high level language like C language, Java language uh, or C sharp, C++ into the equivalent object code. But here in case of assembler, if the program is written using the assembly language codes, then the assembler, what does basically assembler converts or translates the assembly language program into machine code. It allows a computer to communicate directly with its hardware. Assembler takes basic computer instructions and convert them into binary code that the computer's processor can use to perform its basic operation. Assemblers are specific to a particular computer architecture. Assemblers are similar to compilers because they both produce executable code. However, a compiler converts a high level language to machine level language while an assembler converts assembly language to machine language. Uh, here you can see. Uh, the instruction, uh, instruction for data transfer 000, while the mnemonics or the assembly language used is MOV, move. Similarly, for addition, we do have 001 and 100. Similarly, the mnemonics used in assembly language known as add. So, what it does basically, whenever you are writing a program using the mnemonics, then uh, it is converted into the equivalent object code or machine level code using the assemblers basically.